Beautiful Souls. So today we are going to be working through a beautiful, fiery, core and inner thigh focused power flow. So please listen to your body today. Anytime you need to take child's pose, please do. And let's just have fun. Okay? So laying down onto your backs, get yourself nice and comfortable. Put hands by your sides, palms facing up. Close your eyes. And take the biggest breath you've taken all day. So inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth, just let it out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. And just find and stillness here. This class is really working in your mid center where yogis believe your inner child, your ego, your identity lives. So I want you to take a moment and notice how you're showing up today and what your reasons for showing up are. So what's the motives behind your action right now? Maybe you've got a particular body goal, strength goal, feel good factor. Whatever speaks to you most today and every day can change. Use that to set yourself an intention for this class, please. It could be a word or a phrase. So if it's to work on strength, you say, I am strong. Whatever you choose, please say to yourself three times a true conviction. And then bring your attention to your belly, please. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out the mouth. Deep breath in. Hold at the top and this time close the mouth but make the same half sounds at the back of the throat. Like you're trying to fog a glass but the lips are closed. Let's see if we can keep that style of breath going. So you're trying to fog a glass but the lips are closed. And then bring some movements with your fingers, your toes, reach your hands up over your head, give yourself a beautiful push. Now place your hands by your sides, feet underneath your knees, please tuck your tailbone under. And then knees go forward as your bum goes high. So straight away starting in bridge pose today, toes pushing into the floor. Imagine you're squeezing the block and I want you to imagine keeping your heels up towards your bum. You're strong in the legs here, you feel solid in your foundation. Now every day we show up different. So just be aware of your temperament right now and don't let it guide you. Just be aware of it and then find yourself back in the moment. Use the breath to anchor yourself right here, right now. Breathe. Amazing. Exhale. Fully draw the belly button up and in, please. Inhale. So like I say, we're really working in the core today in the inner thighs. So I want you to imagine squeezing the inner thighs in this particular position, please. Nice. And then slowly allow your bum to lower down towards the floor. Allow your knees to turn out to the side and your feet to come together. And on an exhale, your bum goes back up towards the sky. Squeeze your inner thighs, so feet are together, knees out wide. Inhale, lower the bum down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, lift it up. And it's like you're tucking your tailbone under here as you squeeze the glutes. Inhale, but we're not trying to Make a U position with our back and a hyper extend here. We're trying to keep a nice long line from the shoulders all the way to the knees when we push up. Release it down and lift up. Nice. Release it down and lift up. Two more just like this. When you reach the top, don't squeeze your glutes. I want you to squeeze your inner thighs. Imagine pushing your feet in together. Working with the breath here. Now hold them here and just breathe. Breathe into this and imagine pushing your... Well, don't imagine, actually do it. Push your feet in towards one another and imagine squeezing the block in between your thighs. Breathe and hold. So just start to activate into those inner thighs. And now on every exhale, draw the belly button up and in. And in this position, as we hold stability, notice how we're starting to fire the core up just with the breath. So you can place your hands actually on your belly if you wish. Every exhale, just draw the belly button up and in. The legs don't move, you're squeezing the inner thighs. Breathe into this. So as we work on inner thighs today and core, we're really working and helping support our posture. Exhale, breathe. 
our standing tall, our firmness, our connection and our confidence, all related. Breathe into this. Exhale, two more breaths. Just starting to feel everything, starting to fire up. Turn on. And on the end of your exhale, release your bum down. Your feet go back underneath your knees and your bum goes high again. Notice what feel, how you feel now. Make sure those feet are underneath your knees here. All the way into the left leg, right knee and towards your chest. Hands wrap them around your knee and exhale, lift. Push against that resistance. Inhale, your bum goes down. Exhale, push against the resistance. Inhale, bum goes down. Exhale, push against the resistance. Three more, lower down. Push against that resistance. Inhale, push against that resistance. Notice how the inner thighs fired up here. Push, last one, inhale. Push against that resistance, straighten the leg and then climb it with your hands. Climb it, nice, breathe here, climb. Keep the bum lifted if you can. Breathe, drop your bum down and then switch your legs. The right leg lowers down, it's pointed here. And switch. And switch, draw the belly button down, yeah? Switch. And switch. Now you can continue this grabbing the leg, just for an extra bit of support, or hands up towards the sky. Don't let your hands reach for your legs here, just keep them directly up. And switch. And switch. And switch, breathe. And switch. Now when you make this L position, squeeze your glutes. Switch, squeeze your glutes, draw your belly button up and in. Squeeze. 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 And switch. And switch. And switch, four more, just like this. Switch. Switch, you've got this, breathe into it. Switch, switch, one more set. Switch, and switch, fantastic. Bring the knees in towards your chest. Pull them in just for a moment, and then rest your head down, feet underneath your knees again. Bum goes high all the way into the right leg, left knee in towards your chest. Grip with both fingertips, just below that left knee. Push up, inhale, lower it down. Exhale, push it up. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, push it up. Inhale, load it down. Exhale, push against that resistance, please. Inhale. Exhale, push two more. Inhale. Push against that resistance. Inhale. Push against that resistance. Hold it here. Straighten the leg and then walk it. Hold. Try and keep the bum elevated off the floor, but if anyone feels a sharp electrical kind of pain in the lower back, lower your bum. Nice. And then everyone lower the bum. Straighten the right leg. And switch. Yeah? Switch. Switch. This time, if you want to try it, your hands come up and as your left leg goes down, your right hand goes back behind you. Inhale, centre, exhale, switch. Inhale, centre, so it's opposite arm, opposite leg. Inhale, centre. Now your head can be off the floor, but if that's bothering your neck, you can release it down and just keep this action going. What we're looking for here is the lower part of your back still pushing down into the floor. Nice, breathe into this. Fantastic, and if you have rested your neck, every now and again, if you want to just add a little bit more tension, lift the neck up. Play around with it, see what's working best for you today. The main goal is to empower yourself by making choices that work for you. And trust me, I've been there. I've made those wrong choices. I've pushed myself past the edge and I always regret it. I always feel bad and I feel angry as well. And never leave a class feeling good if I push myself past my edge. So just really empower yourself by choosing the option for you. If you want to drop your neck, place it down onto the floor. This is the chance to do it. Three, two, and one. Hold it here. If you can right now, lift the shoulders, lift the head. If your neck is bothering you, place your hands behind your head and lift it up. Assist yourself here. Fantastic. Three more breaths. Breathe into this. Two more breaths, kind of keep those legs up. And then slowly release your hands, grab hold of the backs and knees and just rock yourself up and release down. Rock yourself up and release down. Rock yourself up, clasp your feet and then come forward. Amazing. So in this position, knees are come together, drop your right hip over towards the right and actually let it sit down. Left hand up towards the sky. Both knees are on top of each other. You're gonna lift your hips up as you kick the left leg up towards the sky and then straighten it. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, place it up, kick the leg. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, up, kick. Pelvis forward, foot back. 
flex the foot, inhale, exhale. So we're starting to work into the thighs here. We're gonna add a little bit more core. So as you release it down, you place your left hand as if you're coming into Chaturanga, arms you twist to the side, and then you lower yourself down to Chaturanga, keeping the right hip onto the floor. As you exhale, you straighten, the left hand comes up straight away, the left leg comes up, nice. So lowering it down, straight away going to Chaturanga arms. Exhale, push it up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five more just like this. Inhale. Keep those elbows in towards the rib cage, please. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, working with the breath. Last one, inhale. Exhale, hold. Breathe here. Walk the right hand underneath your right wrist. Your right shoulder again, please. Breathe, lift it up even higher. And then point the left toe and start making circles for me, please. Make circles with that left foot. Imagine that you've got a little pencil on the end and you're just making circles into that hip. Squeeze the right inner thigh just to help you a little bit here. Your hands are straight up and strong in this nice long line. And reverse it, change direction. Breathe. Breathe into this. Three, two, one. Look towards the left corner of your mat, top left, and then twist. Place the left foot there. Nice. Both hands down, curl your right toes under and straighten the back foot up. Inhale the hands up. Exhale, drop your seat. Look up, shine your chest. Breathe. Nice. Start to straighten the left leg. So both legs are straight and strong and then drop your right heel down. Your right foot's at a 45 degree angle and then bend into that left leg again. Coming into warrior one. Both hands together. Place them behind you so your hands are the bottom of your neck and then look up. Push your pelvis forward and down. Breathe. If this doesn't feel too good on the um, back here, pop that back right heel up and bend the knee just to release any tension in that lower back. Breathe into this. Nice. Two more breaths. Whatever you are. On the end of your exhale, slowly release the right hand to keep the left hand where it is. Slowly reach over towards the left knee. So left elbow, left knee. Hand up towards the sky. Twist right elbow back. Breathe. So the right hand just behind your head or lower part of your neck. Make sure that left knee is directly over the ankle. Now we're gonna switch through this, so right fingertips come down underneath the right shoulder. You pop up onto that back knee. Inhale the left hand up. Exhale twist, so the, the heel comes down. The right hand comes up, left hand goes back behind the head. Think about pulling this left shoulder and elbow forward. And again, inhale, pop the right heel up, look over towards the left, exhale, switch, drop that heel, open, inhale, exhale, rotate it in that back leg here, inhale, exhale, pop, and lift up two more, inhale, and exhale, this time holding it here, both hands come together in prayer position and then twist and open here. Nice, breathe here. Inhale, pop that back foot, both hands forward and then reverse it. Both hands twist on that left knee and twist and open as best as you can. The right heel is popped up. Breathe into this. One more breath. As gracefully as we can, look forward. Right leg steps to left keep your hands in that position drop down into chair twist breathe nice and then hands come forward stay in chair exhale reverse it left elbow on right twist drop your seat breathe nice inhale come forward exhale forward fold drop your head Straighten the legs, put all the weight into your toes. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, both hands underneath your shoulders. Jump, hop or step back into plank. Forward to the wrist, chaturanga. Inhale, sweep up double cobra. Exhale, push back. Child's pose, close the eyes. Just notice how you feel it. Right now in this moment, feel that gentle vibration moving across and around and under and over your skin. See how expansive you can take this? So feel inside your body first, then go to the layers of the skin and then go to the outside, the aura that's around your body. Can you feel all three elements working here? Pulsating. Grab yourself some water if you wish before we go on to the other side. Breathe into this and then meet me into a um, tabletop position. Both knees are coming together and then you're simply just going to drop your left hip onto the floor. Left wrist underneath the left shoulder. We're simply just going to lift the right hand up as we lift the right knee. And then kick the leg out straight. Breathe. Hips forward. Right foot flex. And then inhale. Come back down. Exhale, push it up. Inhale down. Exhale, push it up. Inhale down, exhale, push it up. Now we're gonna wake into the belly again now. If you like to try it, both hands chaturanga. The left hip stays down, and then bring yourself into that chaturanga version. And then straighten the arms straight away, come up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, down. Inhale, straighten up. Exhale, down. Keep the elbows locked in here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Open here. Flex the foot. Exhale. Two more just like this. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. This time hold. Point the toe. Push that pelvis forward and start to make circles. Breathe into this. Making those circles. Making sure you're wrist stays underneath your shoulder so you may have to walk it in a little bit there breathe three two one change it to the other direction breathe into this try not to give up here work with me make those circles anytime you feel those shakes slowing it down working with it and then look forward look to the right top corner of your mat place your foot there yeah Curl your left toes under, straighten the foot, inhale the arms up, exhale drop your seat, look up, breathe here, open up, into that pelvis, drop it forward and down, and then we straighten both legs, this left heel drops down, the foot's at a 45 degree angle, and then we move into that warrior one position by bending the right leg, both hands come together, behind your neck and then look up, and again if this doesn't feel good for your lower back, pop this left heel up, bend the back foot, or you can even drop down onto the knee, work with whatever works best for you, but wherever you are I want you to focus on pushing this right heel into the floor, directly down, breathe, nice, and then on the end of your exhale the right hand stays where it is as the left hand comes up and away from you, Hands up towards the sky, right elbow coming down towards the right knee. Keep that right knee of the right um, shoulder. So we're making almost a nice long glance, best as we can. Right fingertip, left fingertips all the way to the right heel. And then we're gonna switch through this. So left hand comes underneath the shoulder, pop the back left heel up, right hand up towards the sky. Nice. So we slowly drop that heel down, right hand comes back, left hand comes up. Exhale, switch. Pop the hip in the heel and then bring it back down and open. Inhale, release it down. The elbow comes up, twist and then place that down. The heel that that is as the elbow comes down towards the floor. Two more just like this. Inhale, you've got to be popping that heel up. Exhale, you're placing it down. Open and up. Last one. 
Inhale. Breathe. Exhale, pop. This time both hands come together, pray, open here. Feel that openness in the inner thigh, it's juicy, it's fiery. Nice. Fantastic, and then we bring it forward, pop the left heel up, and then both twist over to the other side, hands together, twist and hold. Breathe into this. So feel that heat moving from the inner thighs, the powerhouse muscles, up towards the core here. As gracefully as we can, left leg steps next to the right. Get into chair, both feet together, both knees together as we twist over to the right. Now this is the time to empower yourself. If you need to straighten the legs for a moment, shake it off and then come back into it. Please do. This is your practice, make it your own. Inhale the hands forward and up. Exhale, twist to the other side. Breathe. Amazing. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, drop your seat as much as you can and then come high onto the toes. High onto the toes, as gracefully as we can, our knees come forward and our toes are curled under. Fantastic. Breathe into this. Both of our hands are going to come behind our back, fingertips facing up, elbows pulled together. You're going to close your eyes as if you're trying to open your chest as much as you can, but you drop your rib cage down. Imagine you're squeezing a block in between the thighs here. Close your eyes and feel the heat for your heartbeat. Notice how it might be just increasing a little bit here. Such a simple pose but so effective. Breathe. Exhale. Pull the elbows in towards one another. Drop the rib cage down, shoulders away from the ears. Put the waist into your heels. Imagine squeezing the block. Exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. On the end of your exhale, open the eyes. Notice how you feel from that. Release your hands in front of you. And straight away, bum goes up towards the sky, forward fold. Nice. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Release your hands up towards the sky. And then hands come down. Straight away, lift your left leg. Turn out to the side. Big, huge stance here. Both feet out, 45 degree angle. Drop your seat. Straight away, hands onto your knees. I want you to focus on dropping. So what we're looking for here is both knees as pretty much out behind you as best as you can. And your thighs are parallel with the floor. So you want to get low. So use your strength in your arms to get you in that position initially. Move your feet. Everyone will have different stances here. But you ideally want your ankles pretty much underneath the knees. Push your knees back, feel that openness in the inner thighs. Nice, and we'll just open that a little bit more now. The right shoulder drops down, left shoulder up. Feel that for me, please, and then inhale. Exhale over to the other side. Inhale. Exhale over to the other side. So you can consistently pushing those knees back behind you. Twist and look up. Inhale. Twist and look up as we get into that core here. Inhale. Twist. One more. Inhale, twist and look up. Inhale, centre. This time, release your hands. Shoulders drop them over the hips. Allow yourself to find that depth again. Exhale, close your eyes, everyone. I want you to step inside. Tuck your tailbone under here. Breathe. Where you're feeling it, push down in the heels. Inhale, feel that urge to move and find stability in it. Exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. Drop that seat. Challenge yourself here. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. On the end of your exhale, straighten the legs. Ah. Left big feet. Point them over towards the left. Reach the right hand down. Left hand reaches up away from you. Move into triangle pose. Look up. Nice. I want you to focus on where this left shoulder is, pull it back. So for some of us, especially for new to yoga, actually grab the shoulder and pull it back and switch my imaginary wall. Think about how much you're crunching your right side. Can you find a bit more length there? So if you need to come up to do that, please do. Don't focus on where your hand is. If you reach your hand down and it means that your left shoulder's dropping, I want you to bring yourself up. Squeeze the inner thighs together in this position. Five more breaths. Squeeze the inner thighs. 
squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze those inner thighs. Squeeze them. Nice. Two more breaths. Squeeze the inner thighs. Chest directly out to the side. Nice. And then slowly bend into this right leg. Both hands down. Pop the left leg up for me, please. Bend the foot up towards the right buttock. Right hand grabs the foot if it's available to you. Drop your head. Straighten the right leg. Left knee up towards the sky as best as you can. Breathe. Nice. Every exhale, can you allow your head to drop down towards your calf a little bit more? Keep that leg straight. So imagine you're still squeezing a block in the inner thighs. Notice what that does to the leg. Two more breaths. On the end of your exhale, both hands come down. Start to bend into that right leg as you place the left arm. Cartwheel yourself back up, both feet facing out, and drop yourself back into that wide legged squat there. Amazing this time. Right elbow, come over towards the right knee. Inhale the left hand up. Drop your seat. Nice. Release your right hand. Inhale, centre. Make a big Y with your hands. Why should you make me do this? Exhale, elbow over towards the left. Up and over to the right first. Drop your seat. Release the left. Breathe. Inhale, centre. Right elbow, left. Over, up and over. Right hand reaches up. Drop your seat. Inhale, centre. Over towards the left. Breathe into it. Find your stability. Imagine squeezing the inner thighs as you release that left. One more either side, centre, right, up and over, release the right, inhale centre, and over to the left, last one, you've got this, inhale up, back to centre, straighten the legs, ah, this time left heel drops, nice, both hands out to the side, up and over to the left, come into triangle on the other side, reach the right hand up and away from you here. Nice, breathe into this. So straight up, hand onto your shoulder, or almost parallel with the floor, whatever feels best for you. Squeeze the inner thighs. I want you to focus on how much you're crunching this left side. Let that be the judge of where you put your left hand. Make sure your palm's facing forward. Breathe. Squeeze the inner thighs, as if you're trying to pull your both your legs in towards one another. Feel that vibration inside your body work with it and know that it's getting rid of toxins chemicals just garbage that have stored there you don't want you want to get rid of it allow your body to naturally move it and get rid of it drop that right shoulder down the back as best as you can breathe two more breaths exhale fully the more you deepen the breath here, the better you will experience benefits. And then look down, start to bend into this left leg. Nice. You can just both hands down if you wish. Right leg kicks up towards the left foot, straighten the left hand. Sorry, the left leg, and then left hand grabs the foot. Drop your head. And just see as best as you can how much you can straighten into that left leg. Exhale fully. If you want to walk the hand a bit closer to that left leg, you can. Right knee pulls up. Exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale fully. Two more just like this. Inhale. Exhale fully. Last one. Inhale. On the end of your exhale, release that foot. Place it back down. Cartwheel the arms up, both feet 40, 45 degree angle away. Place your hands onto those knees and drop yourself down. You want your thighs parallel with the floor here. Both shoulders pull them forward and open here. So think about pushing forward and then opening them so you're finding an openness in your chest. Allow yourself to drop even more. Open chest, open thighs. Nice, from here we're going to work with the core a little bit, getting into twists, so make sure you found stability here. Right hand's going to come 
down in front of your face, down onto the floor. Think about that open chest that you've just been creating and move your hand, left hand up and up, away from you. Think open chest. Inhale, switch. Exhale, look up towards the sky. Inhale, switch. Exhale, look up. Inhale, switch. Exhale, look up. Inhale, switch, keep this going. The entire time, the weight stays in the heels. Don't be focusing on dumping all your weight forward. Switch. And switch. Two more. And switch. Last one. And switch. Fantastic. This time, both hands down. Straighten the legs, drop your head. Toes face a little bit more forward here. Walk your hands back under your shoulders. Shoulders away from the ears. All the way into the toes this time. If you want to open up your stance, just to feel a deeper stretch in the inner thighs, please do here. Allow your head to drop down. Exhale, weight into the toes. Weight into the toes. Deepen the breath. Exhale fully. On the end of your exhale, release your head, straighten the arms. And heel to your feet just in a little bit, just in case you went super wide with the legs there. Deep breath in, exhale out, left hand underneath your face. You're going to put all the weight into your right leg as you bring the left leg, sweep it through and lift it up as high as you can. If it's available, grab the toe and straighten the leg. Push the shoulder away from you so you're creating length from your left ear to your left shoulder. Breathe. Nice. Make sure you've got stability in that right foot. Yeah, pushing down into the floor. Release the left leg and release the hand up towards the sky. Hold it here, point the toe. Inhale, lower that left foot down towards the floor. Exhale, pop it up. Inhale, lower it down. Exhale, pop it up. Inhale, lower it down. Don't let that shoulder drop and you dump all the weight into it. You're consistently pushing it with the left hand down and away from you. Working with the ear, sides of the core here, sides of the torso. One more, inhale. Exhale, pop, grab the foot. Straighten and lengthen. Pull the right shoulder down to find a resistance with the foot there. And the end of your exhale, start to bend into that leg as gracefully as we can. Step back through and switch the hands. Breathe. All the way into the left leg, you want to bend it. Sweep the right leg through. Grab hold of the foot if it's available push the right shoulder away from you. Now, if we're not grabbing the foot, it's unavailable, we can grab the back of the thigh. Yeah, and your foot's pointing away from you, you can do the same action. And as you lower down, it's just the heel coming down here. Lift, let go of the foot, hand up towards the sky, point the toe. Breathe, push the right shoulder away from the right ear. And then slowly lower down, exhale, pop it up. Slowly lower down, exhale, pop it up. Slowly lower down, pop it up, slowly lower down, pop it up, two more, slowly lower down, pop it up, last one, slowly lower down, pop it up, grab the foot, straighten, think strong here. Use the resistance by pulling the left shoulder down to feel that openness in the back of the right leg. Push down more with the left heel and then let go of the foot as we bring the knee, bend it. Step it through as best as you can. Both hands come underneath the shoulders again and drop your head. <sighs> Forward fold. Shoulders away from the ears here. And then turn the right toes forward in front of you. Hands like down dog here. And start to bend into that right knee. So the right knee is over the right ankle. Both hands walk up and over. So in front of that right foot. But you push evenly with both hands as you drop your head in between your biceps. So, warrior two with the legs, down dog with the arms. Breathe. Exhale fully. Exhale fully. Push it evenly with both hands. On the end of your exhale, pop that left heel up. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. And then heel toe the right foot up and away from you, 45 degree angle. Both hands walk away and drop your pelvis forward and down. Chest shining forward. 
this may be enough for you here option to stay or drop the left knee down on curl the toes and imagine pushing the pelvis forwards and down breathe into this shoulders pull them down the back find your stability forget where you're going next be in the here and now feel openness in your body right now in this moment amazing and then slowly walk your hands back under your shoulders left hands under your shoulder here and then twist over towards the right you're coming onto the outside of the right foot you're pushing the right knee away from you you're looking up over the right shoulder if your left knee isn't dropped down please do it now and curl the toes fully breathe open twist here the pelvis is still dropping forward and down breathe And then on the end of your exhale, bring that foot, walk it back and back into alignment, pop that left foot back up and then slowly walk your hands, place the heel down, back through centre, you're straightening the right leg, you bend bending the left, your left foot's facing directly out to the side and your heel is out to the, right we'll just make this way, so your heel you're basically going into warrior two, the outside of your right foot is parallel with the front of your mat. Your left toes are facing directly out away from you. You're dropping down into that hip and both hands are coming over that left leg. Down dog with the hands, warrior two for the legs. Push your weight back here, breathe. Exhale fully. Exhale fully. Exhale fully as we get into that hip there. And then on the end of your exhale, start to walk your hands as you pop this right heel up. Walk yourself back over to centre behind you so you're in front of the left foot. And then you're healing. Just toe that foot away from you, 45 degree angle. Drop your pelvis forward and down and walk your hands forward. Option stay here, this feels good, or drop the right knee down and curl the foot. Breathe, shoulders away from the ears, pelvis forward and down. Exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale fully. Exhale fully. Two more. One more. Then on the end of your exhale, walk your hands back under your shoulder, drop your right knee down and curl your toes. And then slowly tilt over towards the left. You come onto the outer edges of your left foot and you push the knee away from you. Breathe into this. Breathe. Breathe into this as best as you can as you slightly bend that right elbow and work into the entire shoulder girdle as you feel this twist. Getting into the inner thighs, into the core. Breathe. And then on the end of your exhale this time, I just want you to slowly move onto that right hip and then twist yourself round. Amazing. Grab hold to the backs of the knees. You might want to move the fleshy part to your bum out the way first. So you feel like you're truly on your sit bones. Grab hold to the backs of the knees and then lift both feet. Drop the shoulders down the back. I want both of your feet, imagine them like they're pushing onto an imaginary wall. So your pinky toes and your big toes and in one long line. They're not faced away from one another. See if you can find that to basically bring your pinky toes more forward. What that's going to do is activate into the thighs a little bit more. Release your hands if this is available or could keep hold of the backs of the knees. Or just release one hand, your choice. Breathe into this and just start to feel things firing up inside your body. The more you bring your pinky toes forward, the more you're going to turn your inner thighs on. So just breathe. So it's almost like you're trying to knock your knees together, but you're not. It's that sensation of wrapping round. Then we're going to move through this. So we're going to straighten our legs out as we lower ourselves down. 
Now the key is place your hand onto your lower belly, feel that dome, that popping sensation. Draw it up and in as much as you can. You might want to lift your legs to help you do that. And then inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, load it down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, load it down. Keep this going. Now if you're struggling to get back up, keep hold of your legs or walk the legs to get up. And then exhale, only go as far as you can, but keep hold of the legs. And then bring yourself up. So work with this action. Remember, empower yourself in where you are today. Nice. And watch your body progress through each movement day to day. Keep it going. Breathe into this. The entire time we're focusing on that core, pulling down. Everyone give me three more just like this. Exhale up. Breathe up. Last one. Inhale. Exhale up and then meet me down at the bottom. Release your hands up and away from you. Fingertips facing down. It's the belly button we want you to imagine. Draw them up and in. Lift the legs up a bit higher. Squeeze the glutes. Two more breaths. You've got this thing to lengthen the body. Length, feel the energy. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the entire body body if you want. And then the end of your exhale, release it down. Place your hands onto your belly and just close your eyes. Just notice how you feel. Notice the energy, the vibration you created in your body today. <sighs> Just see if you feel like you've released something, something's washed completely out of you. <sighs> and sometimes it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It doesn't have to be stress, shame, guilt, frustration, whatever it is. Sometimes it's having too much energy. You just wanted to get out too many coffees maybe and it just felt really really good to move in your body then or maybe you were stressed frustrated angry and you wanted to move in a way that just allowed you to release that completely see if this class has see if you feel a little bit lighter now compared to when you first stepped on your mat and then take this opportunity to remind yourself of why you stepped on the mat today. Do you feel like you're one step closer to achieving whatever it is? Empower yourself by becoming aware of all of the steps in the process. And then bring your knees in towards your chest, please give them a big squeeze. Roll over to your right hand side first, both knees stack on top of each other, both hands on top of each other and then slowly lift the left hand up and over to the left. Right hand could be on the left knee, just feel this twist please. And I want you to focus on every exhale, the left shoulder dropping down. Breathe. On the end of your exhale, both knees come up to centre, over towards the left please. You might want to lift your hips up just to stack them, so it's easier to stack your knees. Nice left hand on the right knee this time, and then left hand on the right knee, right hand up and away from you, look, twist, close your eyes, three, just feel that twist, allow yourself to open here. Feel the gentle shakes in your body. Easy to notice when your body's trembling and you're in that situation where you feel you're truly challenging yourself. There's also something special about noticing even in the minor reactions to oppose trying to stop them. And then on the end of your exhale, you're just going to straighten your legs and you're going to roll onto your bellies, please. You're going to place your left hand or your right hand down first, then your left or right on top, whichever feels good for you. And then place your forehead on top of your hands. Relax your shoulders down your back. Move your hips side to side. And then I want you to focus on breathing super deep into your belly here. So deep breath in below the belly up like a balloon. Exhale, soften it completely. Inhale, blow the belly up like a balloon. Soften it completely. Keep this going, please. So I want your body to feel the rise up 
and the fall. The rise up. And the fall. The rise up. And the fall. Five more just like that. And can everyone spread the legs just a bit wider? Turn them out to the side so it's the inside of your feet resting on the floor. And on every next exhale, imagine energy just escaping out of your toes. So anything you don't want to keep hold of right now in your body, with every exhale it's going down from the lungs all the way to your toes and seeping out of you. Five breaths just like this. 